Today on Knife Banner, we are talking the best knives of 2020. Pause the video right now and guess what number one is. I promise you're not gonna get it right. We're also looking at a few of our favorites. Let's talk knives. How's it going guys and welcome to Knife Banner. Today we are talking the best knives of 2020. Now, I don't know if you've been along for the ride in 2020 anywhere in the world, but it has been one interesting year. But I will say that there is one positive thing that's come out of all of this. There has been a couple of really great knives that have uh, that have hit the market. We've had, I think we've had some fun here on the channel. We've had some fun at Blade HQ. Hopefully you guys have been following along for some of that. And uh, we get to talk about something positive about 2020 and that is the best knives of 2020. So we're pretty excited. Now, because of uh, the things in the world during this year, uh, there has not been as many new knife releases as there have been in the past. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first look at the top new knives. So knives that came out in 2020, we're gonna look at the top knives that came out in 2020 uh, in a couple different categories. Then we're gonna look at the top overall knives of 2020, and then we'll look at a couple of mine and Kurt's, uh, mine and Kurt's favorites. So um, yeah, let's just jump into this thing. Now, as always with our best knives of 2020, this is based off of your guys' dollars. So you guys vote with your dollars every year. We go in, we look at the data, and we see, okay, what knives do people buy the most? And Kurt, new fixed blades, for 2020, what was the most popular new fixed blade for 2020? Oh my goodness, you're gonna be blown away. <laughs> okay, let's It see. is the CRKT Foltz Minimalist with the green micarta and the uh, 5CR15MOV steel. I was kind of surprised. And the cleaver blade. I know, right? That's what surprises me with this is I have one. That's actually my personal one. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, I have one. I, I love that little thing because I think it's really unique. But let's be yeah. honest, at the end of the day, it's not the most utility-based no. neck knife, right? No, I. this actually surprised me. I, yeah. w I would not have guessed that the Foltz Cleaver would have been the top fixed blade for 2020. Yeah. It's a good one. And we, uh, we've also had our own exclusive. That recently launched. Yep, yep. with the uh, the JG10 and the D2 Steel. Mm. So, uh, you know, kind of a shocking fixed blade entry as number one, but the Foltz Minimalist with the green micarta, it goes for $25.95 and then the, uh, the D2 exclusive goes for $35.95. So, very affordable yeah. fixed blades, cleaver, very unique, three finger knife for under 40 bucks. Yeah, which is pretty cool. So. Now, and this is the fun thing with some of these knives on the list is I don't think some of these would have been the top knife if things had been just normal. In oh, right. right. No, yeah, it's like, right. it's like this, this is an awesome knife, but chances are it was like, okay, cool. Like CRKT was able to make enough of them that people right. were able to buy enough of them, right? right. Like, <laughs> No, yeah, it, honestly, it blew my mind that this made it as the yeah. the top seller for. It's a cool one. I'm I'm a big. It fan really of that is one. cool. Yeah. No, I I like the Foltz Minimalist. The cleavers are super fun. It's just fun to have a different blade shape every once in a while. Yeah. And this is, this is pretty. Yeah, sweet. they nailed it. They nailed yeah. it. Cool. So yeah, that's the Foltz Minimalist top fixed blade for 2020. All right, so for new knives of 2020, the number one new folder for 2020. This one's also kind of exciting, a little unexpected. Uh, it is the Wii Banter, believe it or not. Uh, so this is the black one. This is the most popular one uh, for 2020, but there's also a blue version. And we recently released a, um, a Blade HQ exclusive one that had, I believe it was a 20 CV blade and a natural G10 scales. And uh, this, this is a great little knife from Wii Knives. Uh, it was designed by Ben Peterson. He used to uh, visit Knife Banner every once in a while. And uh, yeah, really simple design, very utilitarian, nice deep carry pocket clip. Um, if you know Ben, all the things that Ben loves about his knives, you know, you've got your finger test, you've got that uh, certain shade of blue, um, the, whole, the whole nine yards, and just a great knife from, from Wii Knives. And awesome to see something so cool come from a member of the community. You know what I mean? Oh, for sure. Um, if you guys aren't following Ben, check out his check out uh, his Instagram page. He's got great stuff going on there. He runs the Nafs brand, K N A F S. I love reading it, but I hate saying it. <laughs> I know. I, f I always feel like I'm like 
saying it wrong. Yeah, it always it always Maths? feels silly, silly to say. But anyways, um, really neat knife. Um, you know, overall length on this thing, 6.5 inches. Blade length is 2.8 inches. Um, it comes regularly with a CPM S35 VN blade. Like I said, G10 handles. Um, and cool, cool little knife. And that is, out of all the new folding knives that came out in 2020, this was the one that you guys liked the most. So this is the, the most popular one. And it sells for about 109 bucks, 108 bucks on the website. So not only good for materials and everything, but also a great price for Wii knives. Because um, as you guys know, we love Wii knives. Every freaking knife I've ever pulled off the shelf of these guys is just perfectly centered, great action. Uh, yeah. So the Wii, Wii Banter, number one folding knife of 2020 for new knives of 2020. I like that one. I have. Oh yeah, one. I have one. Yeah, they're great. Like I absolutely have one. It is a really fun fidget knife yep. because of the the wee detent. Yep. Man, it just jumps over. It's like almost assisted, but not annoying. You right. Know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. No, I agree. <laughs> All right. So up next, I have the top new OTF. Yeah. For 2020, so an out the front knife. This, and, yeah, okay, yeah, just, show, just show it, just show it, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, uh, this kind of shocked me. Yeah. I was not expecting this, but it is the Boker Kalashnikov Bowie OTF. Now, this thing has a very distinct look. Yes, it does. Looks like all the Kalashnikov mini, full size, extra large, all the things, Yeah. right? But it's in an OTF, and actually, it's not that, Tinny. It's it's got a really nice action. What's the price on that thing? So $119. Yeah. So $119 for like an OTF that has real action that feels good. It's from Boker, so trusted brand, right? D2 steel. D2 blade steel. The reason that this was surprising to me, and let's be honest, in the in the brand new OTF category, there's usually not a lot. Like like right. in 2019, it was like the Exo set was like the new thing in the OTF world. But this thing's really interesting because um, it's a Kalashnikov pattern, so it makes sense why it would be very popular. I'm not a big fan of the blade to handle ratio, to be 100% right. honest. Um, but you guys, that you guys voted with your dollars. That is the number one new for 2020 OTF on the website. Heck yeah, yeah. the Kalashnikov. I, I would not have guessed this. I would not and either. Rumor is you had to drive to Salt Lake <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in the middle of the night to snag this from your brother yes. so we could show it. Exactly. Because Be we couldn't find a model here. Because it's been so popular, you guys have bought all of them. They're currently out of stock. As of this video, they're currently out of stock. There's a restock coming soon. So if you're wanting one, just add yourself to the wish list. You'll get an email when they come back in. So I didn't have one. Nobody around here had one. We like asked everybody you know, here at Blade HQ. Nobody had one. And I was like, I think my little brother got one. So I called him up, I was like, hey dude, do uh, you got this knife, blah, blah, blah. And it, it was like midnight. So I like drive to his house at midnight. He lives like in an industrial area and he hid it in a Cheeto bag, like up behind his fence. Cause there's like a lot of like homeless people and stuff. He didn't want anybody to take it on, you know, on purpose and or on accident. And so yeah, I like middle of the night, I'm like getting this Cheeto bag from like full with a knife in it. I'm like, dude, some cop's gonna drive by and be like, what do you got there? Uh, Cheetos. <laughs> Cheetos. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is a cool knife. Uh, your brother needs to tighten the clip a little bit though. Yeah, so well the, the, the cool loose. thing about this, kind of a fun thing, a uh, testament of this knife. So he works in warehousing. Okay. He uses this knife fairly regularly. I was gonna say for, the blade has been through some yeah, stuff. He pro dude, he's processing box all day with that thing. Yeah. And he says, obviously if the, if the blade gets too much tape residue, it gunks up a bit, the action will. Right. He says overall it, it performs pretty dang well. So it's cool. Uh, kind, of, kind of a testament to that knife and also why it's a little dirty. <laughs> Heck yeah. Cool. Um, there we go. Sweet. And then, so next up is the assisted knife category. Now, um, this one's not a surprise. I'll be 100% honest because I feel like there's not a lot of new stuff coming out in assisted knives regularly. And especially in 2020, there was not much at all. But on top of all of that, this is the SOG, uh, this is the Flash ATXR. This is actually a really good assisted knife. Um, you guys know it's no secret. I'm not a fan of assisted knives. Um, however, this assisted knife, I think that SOG did a really good job. Sorry, SOG. SOG did a really good job uh, with the action on this thing and they integrated that sweet XR lock. Um, so it's just really smooth action, really easy to deploy, really easy to close. Um, it does have a lock on it. SOG likes to have, they like their locks. I can't get this one to lock, so maybe it's only locked when it's closed. Yeah. <laughs> so locks when it closes, uh, you can lock or unlock it. 
and then you fire it and it does not lock in the open position. Um, so they like their locks, so you got a lock on it, nice, very deep uh, pocket clip on this thing. Uh, this particular one comes with a D2 blade, uh, this is the partially serrated version. Uh, this is a GRN handle, so it's a little more lightweight, which is nice. Overall length is 8.29 inches and the blade length is 3.45 inches. So again, no surprise, SOG has released some stellar knives this year. I'll, I'm not gonna lie, like they haven't been on my radar for a while, but this year they've released some really great stuff. So when I saw this on the list, I was like, oh yeah, makes sense. So totally great assisted knife. If you're looking for an assisted knife, SOG Flash XR. All right. I have the top new automatic for 2020. Now, this one was not that big of this a surprise. This one also was not a surprise. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. This is the Kershaw Launch 11. Now, this thing comes in right at $100. You have 154cm steel, you have aluminum handles. Here's your fire button. And it's pretty, pretty smooth, straightforward. You got your uh, pocket clip here on the back. It is a push button lock. The Launch 11. Yeah. It, this is one of the cooler ones, the, I guess, more of a sleek design, maybe a more likable design. The, some of the launches have like, they're different shaped, right? Right, yeah, each, yeah, for each sure. Each launch is, has a different shape, yeah, of course. different purpose. This is probably one of the most EDC friendly that they've had in a while. Yep. I, I like this because it's just shy of a three inch blade. You can still get your full hand on there for purchase, and it just looks good with that bronze collar mm -hmm. and everything. It's a cool knife. Overall length of 6.75, $99 on the website, Launch 11. You guys chose it, so there yeah. you go. No surprise on the Launch 11 being the top auto for uh, 2020. Right. Like you said, it's just, it's slim, slim, it's EDC friendly, I mean, everything about it, and that's an in-house Kershaw design, which is kind of cool. So their in-house designers are the ones that worked on that and, and made that, so. Yeah, that's way cool. It's cool to see what they're, they're cranking out over there. All right, cool. Um, so now let's jump in. We're gonna jump into some overall knives of 2020. Some of these are gonna be very familiar to you guys. I promise number one is going to be weird. Like you're not, you're not gonna guess number one. Guaranteed you're not guessing number one. Um, try it try down in the comments <laughs> to guess what number one is. But um, these are the overall knives of 2020, uh, top knives of 2020. And the first one, again, this is no surprise to anybody. This is the Svivi Elementum. Um, this is an incredible knife. Uh, this one's been out for a year or two now. Uh, I think just over two years now, a uh, year and a half, something like that. But uh, you know, D2 blade, overall length of 6.9 inches, blade length of 2.9 inches. It's got a G10 handle, nice recessed deep carry pocket clip, you know, and everything that we always say about Civivi, you know, Civivi is the budget brand of Wii. Great centering, great action. And let's be honest, for 50 bucks, even to this day, I still think that this is the best, like $50 knife you can get. Like oh, action, materials, everything. I agree 100%. Yeah. Plus there's so many different color and variations mm -hmm. that you can buy. You can really kind of customize it to who you are or to have, maybe you're giving it as a gift and yep. your friend likes orange, you know, like there's tons of colors, tons of variations. And I 100% agree with you for 50 bucks. I don't know if there's a better yep. knife. When, when people, especially, especially around the holiday season, when people are like, I got a buddy, like I want to get him a knife. I don't want to spend a lot of money. Um, obviously there's some great options like the Pilar, the squid, right? right? Like there's some other great options, but if you're looking at just like, no questions they are going to like the knife, so VV Elementum, everything. I agree. Um, and speaking of variations, we have some Blade HQ exclusives of these with an S35VN blade and a natural G10 handle. Everything else is the same, but that upgraded blade steel is really nice and it only adds about 20, 30 bucks to the knife. So this not one bad. goes for 79.50 on the website. So uh, not a bad deal for S35, G10, and again, just a stellar design. So that is the number five knife of 2020 overall. All right, I have the number four knife of 2020 overall, and it is no surprise, the CRKT CEO. I have two variations here to show you. Let's start with the original here. And that one is that one is the actual number four, most popular knife right, right. there is, is the OG <clears throat> black and satin. Yep, black G10 
and satin blade. So it's got an 8CR 13 MOV steel. It's GRN yeah. handled, not G10. That's my bad. Um, but it is cool. It has this cool milled design on it. Actually gives you a little extra grip on the scales. $40 for one of the best action liner locks I think I've ever felt. The fun thing about it is, is how much it ramps. Right, oh, like I love time. you have to you like load up on that thumb stud a bit, and then it just flies it open. It just jumps yeah, open. Yeah. When these first hit the uh, the market, I thought that they were assisted. Yeah. And I was like, dang, an assisted knife that's that tiny, yeah. like that slim, but it just has a killer detent. So we've got this one. This is forty dollars. The original. That is the number one, or the number four. Yeah. Overall seller 2020. We also have some exclusives. Some unique patterns, exclusives. I This one, I can't remember if this is like a limited exclusive or if this one's just us, but either way, there's a lot of fun patterns in the CEO. Right. Similar to the uh, Elementum, not as many choices, but like you have here, I think that's a brown, a Mica Burgundy Micarta? Yep, it's Burgundy yeah. Micarta, and this one has a D2 yeah. steel blade. So a couple upgrades, which is right. really nice. Deep carry pocket clip. A lot of people use them as a pen pocket knife. I know a lot of guys that just carry them in their jeans or slacks or whatever. This is their go-to every day because it sits back in the corner of your pocket really well. Um, the Burgundy Micarta one, that one goes for $65.99 on the website and they're sweet, yeah, man. Cool knife, man. Number, and number four. In our in our stocking knife video, Taylor got me that for for my stocking, and he said he's been boot carrying it. And so, oh, yeah. yeah, I haven't I haven't had a chance to try it out yet because uh, we we just recently shot that when you when we're shooting this one, but you guys will be seeing it later. And uh, yeah, no, so I'm excited to to tuck that in the boot and and give it a shot because yeah. it's so slim. It's got that really kind of deep long clip. I think it would actually be a really fun kind of backup boot knife. Yeah, yeah no, right. I, I'm I'm interested in seeing how you like it. Yeah, yeah, I'm stoked to try it out because I you know me now I've always got a boot knife after that boot knife video, that's, so it's kind of a right. fun one. Cool. Um, all right. So number three on the list is uh, a fun one. Uh, I'm, I'm excited that this one was actually number three. So it's the Boker Kalashnikov. You guys know the Kalashnikov. There's a million different variations. However, this was the number three knife on the website uh, for 2020 overall was the Boker Kalashnikov in the Dessert Warrior pattern. Uh, this has just been a really fun knife. You guys have loved it. We've all loved it. I think everybody here at Blade HQ has one and just fun. So takes the Kalashnikov, everything we love about the Kalashnikov and just uh, throws a little little spice on it. If you guys haven't seen, we've got a really fun video on Instagram uh, with Santa Claus uh, baking up some Kalashnikov so you guys can see the making process, how they're made. <laughs> what, a, what a good looking Santa. What a good look, what a handsome guy. I think you, you know? see his back yeah. and his And hair. his hand, the side of his hand oh, while yeah. he's flipping his knife, right? Right. <laughs> So overall length on this thing is uh, 7.6 inches. You get a blade length of 3.25 inches. Um, they come with a, just an Oz 8 blade, so just a nice, simple, easy to sharpen blade, and uh, aluminum handles. So yeah, you guys, you guys know everything about it, and the Dessert Warrior specifically was your guys' most favorite version of the Kalashnikov this year. Well, and, and you gotta remember where the Dessert Warrior came from. It came from misspelled searches uh, for looking for desert warrior. Yep, exactly. And so we're like, there's so many clicks for dessert. Yep. Let's make one. Let's make one for fun. And right. and honestly guys, when we made these, we were like, oh, this will be fun. Like, ah, maybe people will buy it. And you guys have definitely bought it. So um, I think we've got a couple more fun dessert things uh, planned for the future. We recently did a drop. They are all out currently, um, but we recently did a drop on them. Keep your eye on the website, sign up for the wish list. Uh, they'll, they'll be coming in and out of stock every once in a while. Those go for the, the Kalashnikovs, uh, you know, anywhere from like 35 to 45 dollar ish, depends on if they're on sale or not. So in that price range, you can pick up any Kalashnikov, um, including the Dessert Warrior. <laughs> I love that knife, it's so fun. All right, I have the number two most popular knife. I'm sure you were shocked by this one. I was so shocked. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a Benchmade bug out. <laughs> All right, guys, let's talk about this one in particular. This is the all black CF Elite. And this one has been the number two seller for 2020. Yep. Overall, that's the knife that you guys have bought second most of. I still, 
You guys aren't gonna guess this first one. I, I promise nobody's gonna know what the first one is. <laughs> I, I was actually shocked yeah. when this wasn't number one. Yeah, yeah. So you guys know the drill. We got a three and a quarter inch blade. We got the, uh, it's, it's carbon fiber mixed in with their like glass filled nylon. Huh? It's basically a polymer impregnated with carbon fiber. And so then what that allows is it takes some of that flex out of the bug out that people right. talk about. Um, so it makes it a little more stiff and a lot more strong because carbon fiber is a very strong and light material. So you're not sacrificing a ton in weight and you're getting a, a more stiff, strong handle, which is kind of cool. Cool, yeah, I love it. We've got the S30V steel and uh, you know, they're super lightweight. This yeah. comes in at 1.8 ounces. Yeah, it's great. So you guys know the drill. This is the bug out. Here is the CF Elite, and then we also are gonna show the mini bug out here in its beautiful black and white Stormtrooper oh, yeah. coloration. And the great thing about that one is, is you can get that one and you can actually dye those scales. So Jamie's dyed his scales, Talon Size dyed his, his scales, a couple guys around here have dyed their scales. So you can actually make that handle color whatever you want it to be, which is kind of cool. We got a guy who did a pink one, um, and then Jamie and Talon, they did theirs black, um, which in dye, you can't get like a true black, but it's more or less black, it's right. like a charcoal color. So the white's kind of fun because you can customize it as well. The white one's cool. It has a 2.82 inch blade. The full size has a three and a quarter inch blade. Um, my favorite knives of all time. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I <laughs> nothing, the, nothing more guys, to say, right? Dude, they know. <laughs> the audience knows the deal with me and bug outs that it's just one of the best knives that has come out in the last few years. And this one in particular was number two this year. So the big one goes for 144.50 on the website and the mini goes for $136 on the website. So if you want a piece of that, lightweight bug out action, we have the options. Yes. At this point, everybody should just own a bug out. You know what I mean? Like that's what it boils <laughs> they, down. Get, really get the should. bug out, carry the bug out because it's such a good ruler. Like it's like a measuring rod of it like, really is. okay, cool. This is a really great EDC knife, right? And then from there, it's like you can vary. Okay, do you want to go more hardcore? Do you want right. to go smaller? Do you want to go lighter? It's such a great like, yeah, like I said, it's like a, a, a weather rod, right? It's a measuring stick. Right, yeah. absolutely. So bug out. Cool, number two. All right, so number one for 2020, uh, your guys' favorite knife, most bought knife for 2020, still blows my mind. It is, no joke, the Kershaw Lucha. <laughs> it's a ballast song. I would not have guessed. Like, this blows my mind. Like, I looked at the data more than once because I was like, there's no way that this ballast song is actually the number one knife. And this is what I think. Here's my theory. I'm gonna give you my theory on this. So, well, first, let me give you a couple specs. So 10.25 inch overall length, it's got a, a 4.6 inch blade, stainless steel construction, comes in at about just under six ounces, um, and it rides on KVT ball bearings. So it's a really smooth balisong as well. But here, here's my theory. I think that a lot of people were stuck at home this year in 2020. And I think that they were like, well, what can I do? And they were like, <laughs> I'm gonna get into bally flipping. I really think that's what happened. I think that a ton of people were sitting around whether it's like Zoom meetings because they're working from home, right? right? Or, you know, people just had a little extra time, right? Because you can't go out and do as much. And I think they were like, I'm just gonna learn how to flip a bally. <laughs> and the Kershaw Lucha was the, the bally of choice, right? Well, not only that, but it's at such a cool price point. Oh yeah, that's the thing is, is it's 110 bucks, right. right? I mean, this really is the, I would say the first time in the ballast song world that you've seen a ballast song of this construction, this quality, just how nice this thing is at $110. Like oh, it's, yeah. it's a crazy good deal. If, you, if you're into ballets where you paid any attention to the ballet song world, you know that you're paying 250 plus, um, you know, 300 plus for a really, really good ballet if you're one of those guys or gals that are like really into it. Um, so if you just are casual, but you're a knife guy and you want something that's nice, something maybe you feel like you could EDC depending on what your local laws are, Kershaw Lucha, man. It was never even on my radar that Kershaw was gonna make a oh, butterfly yeah, yeah. knife. Uh, when they announced this, they announced it at SHOT Show, was it this year? It might have been this year. Maybe. Yeah, they announced it They announced it at SHOT Show, I'm pretty sure it was this year, and uh, yeah, it was crazy. I was like, whoa, Bella song. And I'm not a ballet guy, but I was like, whoa, it, it, it seems to flip really well. Um, it's really smooth, it's, it's fast compared to other ballets that I've played with. So like you'll get like a BRS or a HOM. Right. This feels fast, and I don't know if that's good or bad, but it's just an observation. Um, huh. it, it moves quickly. 
um, like the way the handles flip and everything. So anyways, <laughs> to cherry on top of the cake of a weird year, <laughs> Kershaw Lucha is the number one, it's your guys' favorite knife of, uh, of 2020. So kind of interesting. That's crazy. <laughs> Right on, man. And again, 110 bucks for that Lucha, which is super sweet. That is sweet. All right, so as promised, guys, we have got a couple of mine and Kurt's favorites on the tables. Let us know down in the comments what your guys' favorite knives of 2020 have been. I mean, obviously, we know some of them, but uh, let us know if they're not on this list. Let us know down below. Um, and me and Kurt each picked uh, three knives we're going to go through real quick. Just uh, some of our favorites that kind of came across our, our attention this year in 2020. So. What, what's your what's your first kind of one of your favorites from 2020 that we didn't already talk about? My first first one up, I have the James Brand Pike. Okay, it's a slip joint. It's got a Warncliffe blade. It's got this one particularly has black micarta. Oof, yeah. And I don't know if this is titanium or aluminum up here. Yeah. But this micarta is a inlay. Cool. On right both on. sides, which is kind of cool. Very sleek design. You know how James Brand does. Oh yeah. That's that's their jam. And a blade right around two and a quarter inches. Cool. It's just a good, smooth, clean. And it's a slip joint. Slip joint. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. I actually have a couple slip joints. Yeah. No, over you, here. you 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 carry some slip joints. So the James Brand Pike is really cool. Right in there at one hundred and twenty-five dollars. It's a good, sleek gentleman cool knife you know what i mean yeah they, they always knock it out of the park with yeah. design that's what james they does man is, yeah. is they their designs are stellar yeah. yeah they really are so the pike that's the first one i had cool right on all right so my first one up you guys have actually seen a couple times because i've gushed over it a handful of times is actually an sog uh so i mentioned back with that flash like they really have caught my attention this year and this is the sog pentagon xr um just, it's a cool knife. It's got a, a, a CTS XHP blade, um, overall length of 8.3 inches, blade length of 3.5 inches, G10 handle, and again, that XR lock. And what SOG's been able to do with this XR lock is they've created this lock that, let me, when you close it, see how it doesn't like completely fall shut till I let go of the lock? See this like action on the lock? I love how that works. Yeah. It's like a pillow. So like when you're closing the lock, it doesn't, no matter how fast I like go to close it, it's not trying to like bounce out of right. uh, out of being held. And you can get that with uh, even with an access lock, right? With a, right. with a blade that's a little bit heavier, you can get a little bounce. And so yeah, really enjoyed this knife. Uh, the last couple of years, I've been carrying bigger knives. I wouldn't call this a huge knife, but it is a little on the bigger side. Right. Um, and it's got a two-way reversible pocket clip. You know, just a nice deeper pocket clip, not deep carry, but you know, the carry goes all the way to the top of the clip. So it has this like dagger grind at the very top, which is really interesting. So the whole huh. back of the knife is not sharpened, right. but just at the tip, you're, you've got your, your dagger grind on there. Probably just for piercing? Yeah, no, 100% for piercing. And that's the thing is SOG's background is in like, you know, operations and, right. and military and all of that. Um, so you could use that for any number of things. Um, I don't do a lot of piercing in my day to day. Um, so, but anyways. Cool knife from SOG. Uh, this particular one goes for 175 on the website. This has been one of my favorite knives, new knives of 2020. I've discovered some knives in 2020 that I didn't know about, but as far as stuff that's come out in 2020, that Pentagon XR is sweet. Cool. So I have another one over here, but we didn't get very many of them in. Yeah. And they went in, but like they went fast. Yeah. I like to get the unique GEC knives that mm -hmm. we come that come through here. This one is called the Beer and Sausage. It comes with this cool leather case. It actually doesn't come with the cool leather case. You can get the cool leather case on our website separate. I think it's like I don't know, oh, 15, okay. 15 bucks, something like that. So when you get the knife, it just comes. Just the knife comes. Just when you the, purchase knife the knife comes. Knife. Right. Okay, cool. But you can uh, get this little case. It's got this little coin on there, a little medallion, talks about the beer and sausage, has a little sausage layout. Nice. Anyway, <laughs> let's get down to the beer and sausage. Now, the beer and sausage, sausage is really cool GEC. Um, it has jigged bone uh, handles here. And let's see, you've got your knife, of mm -hmm. course, right? And then if you're gonna have sausage, you don't want your fingers getting all greasy, right? So you have a trident, 
Like some not a, people not a would, fork. A trident. No, you wouldn't. It's not a fork. <laughs> it's a trident. And there's nothing cooler than cutting sausage and stabbing it and eating it with a trident. <laughs> I mean, it's a trident. <laughs> Let's it. be real. And it comes with a bottle opener in case you're cracking back some cold root beers. There you go. <laughs> and uh, let's see, after you're done with your meal, here is the best part. What? Beard comb. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, dude, this is the coolest knife I have found this year. This is probably one of my favorites that I've purchased this year. Yeah. It is so unique and it's I love funny. it. They need to make a whole bunch more of those. They really do. Yeah. And I, I wish that we could get in a little more of their really unique knives like this. Yeah. They Every once in a while they come out with one and it's like, I gotta have that. Yeah. So the beer and sausage, which is perfect because I love root beer. Yeah. And I love sausage. There you go. <laughs> and, I, and I love eating with the trident. <laughs> and brushing your beard. And brushing my beard <laughs> afterwards. Sometimes you get a little, you know, yeah. sausage, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Gotta brush it brush out. Brush it out. $160 for the knife. We are out of stock, yeah. unfortunately, but this was one of my favorite unique knives that came through in 2020. It's a good one. Really man. cool one. Well, this is the thing with GEC is the reason that we never have a ton is that they intentionally make these knives in small batches, right? Uh, because they're really big on quality control. They're really big on making sure the materials are just right. And so they intentionally make them in small batches, but hopefully we'll see more beer and sausages soon. Heck yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. All right, so my next one up, uh, as you guys know, I've been dabbling in kitchen knives this year. I've been trying to learn more about kitchen knives. Um, I've used kitchen knives a lot in my life. Like I've ran a few kitchens. Um, I've, I've, I've worked as like a, not a chef, I wouldn't say, but as a food processor, let's say. And you know, you just always use whatever they have at the restaurants, right? Whatever they have in the back of the kitchens. Um, but I enjoy to do some cooking at my house as well. And so we've been carrying a lot more kitchen knives this year. A lot of fun options, and this is the Boker Cottage from the Boker Cottage Craft series. This is the Chef Knife. Um, has an overall length of 3.3 inches, a blade length of 8.75 inches. It's got a C75 carbon uh, blade steel. Now, with uh, the the blade steels, oh, I got something on the blade there. The blade steels on kitchen knives are a little bit different than in your normal knives. You're not going to see like the same steels cross over. So C75 is a carbon steel. Um, which allows the knife to get a patina on it. So the patina is actually, it's intentional to have a patina get on the knife so that it will protect the knife from rust and stuff in the future. Hmm. So it's kind of a neat thing. Um, now it is, you do have to consider like, you can't just leave it laying around in a puddle of water because it is a higher right. carbon content, right? Um, but, and then it's got a plum wood handle. So very classic construction uh, out of Solingen, Germany, handmade in Solingen, Germany by Boker Knives. It goes for 60 bucks. So kind of a different one than I yeah. would normally pick, but I was just thinking about it and I was like, man, I really like, I've been crushing on that cottage yeah. craft knife. So. That's, that's interesting. I was not expecting that to be honest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I have one more and this one I am extremely excited about. Oh my gosh. When this thing hit our shelves, just like, a week ago? It wasn't long ago. Yeah, it yeah. It was not long ago. I'm surprised ago. that this made your, your, your favorites of 2020 because oh, you love man. it that much. Are you kidding me? As soon as I saw it, I was like, yep, uh-huh. That's that's my jam. Guys, this is the Tops Knives Storm Vector. Didn't Jamie just feature this on a weekly pick? Yeah. <laughs> that's how freaking sweet it is. Dude. It's Look at cool. That. It's Look at that. super cool. That is a chunk of 1095 if I've ever seen one. Yes, sir. You got micarta handles. This thing comes in at a weight of one pound, eight ounces. What? <laughs> Look at this thing. That's it's like the, a, it's like an ax machete. Dude, that is the meatiest, <laughs> craziest. And here's the thing is that thing is, I could shave my oh, face. Dude. That's it's one, insane. One thing with tops, you know, because they specialize in fixed blades. Right. Dude, they razor sharp, every time razor sharp. So crazy. Okay, so let's get into some specs. It's got a 12 and a half inch blade, 18 inches overall. We already talked about the weight, 1.8, one pound, eight ounces. Uh, micarta handle, 1095. Oh man. 
And the sheath is pretty cool too. The sheath you have is that, way like, cool. You have that like side side entry sheath, right. and then it also comes with a dangler, which with a knife that long, it's nice to have a dangler. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Especially if you're getting in and out of your truck or car, yep. you can kind of pull it up on the side. Storm Vector goes for $200 on the website, comes with this really cool sheath, and basically a leaf spring of uh, 1095. Yeah. So. Mach machete axe, for sure. Mach machete axe, sword. <laughs> Cool. So that's what we got. Top Snive Storm Vector. All right. So uh, my last favorite of 2020 is one of these uh, little sheepdogs that we did. So this is a Micarta handled sheepdog uh, with a CTS BD1 in blade. Now, the materials on this are really interesting because uh, CTS BD1N is actually a carpenter steel, uh, okay. which is pretty cool. And then uh, this is, so Carpenter's out of the United States. Um, right. So this is a United States steel, blade steel, and the micarta is sourced from the United States as well. Oh, that's cool. So it's kind of a neat knife, because you know, as you guys know, Kaiser's made in China, um, but this is made actually with a lot of USA materials, which is kind of a- Yeah, that's Kind that's of interesting. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, and I don't know what prompted them to to do that, but it's kind of exciting that they did, you know? Uh, honestly, I think it's a good, good way to mash up yeah, like yeah. a nice pairing, right? Since right. so many of uh, the products that we use, and especially even knives, right, are global, right? like in a lot right. of ways. Even if your knife's made in the USA, chances are some of those materials came from somewhere else. Well, think of your cell phone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know? none, none of those are made in the USA. Right. So, <laughs> so uh, kind of a cool one from Kaiser. This was a Blade HQ exclusive. This is the mini version. Kaiser's also released a regular sized sheepdog um, in the Vanguard series. So you can get a Micarta regular size sheepdog for like under hundred bucks, which, which is, is awesome. Yeah, first time ever, super awesome, great knives. This particular one though spoke to me a lot. As you can see, this is my personal one. It's got plenty of use on it. Um, they're currently out of stock. I'm not trying to show you guys a bunch of out of stock stuff, but this really was one of my favorite knives of 2020. I love the Sheepdog and this pairing in particular with the black micard and the black blade was just, oof. This one I've carried a lot. Um, and you know, just a fun cleaver knife, great action, all the things you love about Kaiser. So anyways, um, and that normally would go for $84 on the website. We will have more back in stock soon, but we do have some non-exclusive Micarta stuff on the website as well. So if uh, this tickles your fancy, there are some options on there you guys can go check out. There'll be a link down in the description. Cool. I love it. All right, man, I think that's all we got. That's it. That's it. Um, I'm not, you know, like I said, 2020 has been a crazy year. I'm glad that we made it through. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, January 1, 2021 doesn't mean that everything changes. Right, it's not gonna <laughs> reset and go back to normal. Ho hopefully things are, are, are headed to the up and up though. You know what I mean? Right. Hopefully that's the case. Um, we hope that uh, the end of your guys' year is going well. We hope your holidays go well. And uh, like I said, let us know what some of your guys' favorite knives are and uh, catch you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching that video. It means the world to us. Uh, if you like this stuff, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out. You can get all your knife purchases at bladehq.com and down in the corner, we've got a sweet playlist with a bunch more knife content.